Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 19-year-old female who complains of pain in the region of her second and third metatarsals. She plays soccer and has had progressive pain, and on these images here, we see that she has a problem right where she's hurting. They put a marker right here over the skin, over the second metatarsal phalangeal joint. This is called the metatarsal bone, and these are the toes and the phalanges. And this is the second toe. Here's the great toe, second toe. And we see the abnormalities right here in the second metatarsal head. So a normal metatarsal head will look like this. Here's the third. We see the nice articular surface. Here's the base of the toe. Looks good here, looks good here. So the fifth, fourth, third metatarsal heads look normal. And the second metatarsal head has this dark area that goes deep into the bone. On this one, this is a fat suppressed sequence. So fluid or inflammation or edema or irritation of the bone will appear bright. And that's exactly what we see this area of brightness here. And we can also see, if we zoom this on up, the cortex, we should have a dark band across the top, like over here we see the articular surface, a little dark band, that's the dense cortical bone. And on this one, we see that the cortical bone is um, eroded through. So the cartilage is thin, the cortical bone is eroded through, and we have marrow edema going deep into the second metatarsal head. The other thing we notice is that the second metatarsal is longer than the first. Here's the first metatarsal head ending right here, and the second is a little bit longer. So this is a case of what we call Freiburg disease or Freiburg infraction, and that is um, osteochondrosis or osteonecrosis of the metatarsal head. Usually it's the second metatarsal head, and sometimes it's the third metatarsal head. It happens in females who are usually adolescents or young, and it's five times more common in females than men. And they theorize that it may be related to a prior injury. This patient does play soccer, and it's possible they could have injured the articular surface. But since the second metatarsal heads are often longer than the first, and it's in females, they think that maybe it's related to wearing shoes, like high heels that put abnormal stress right here. And this seems more plausible. So uh, it may be multifactorial, too, that um, they're at risk to develop uh, injury since there's abnormal mechanics of stress here since this is longer and it could be incited by an injury like soccer or something else and then it goes on to progress um, because of this long metatarsal head and that's this this is a case of Freiburg disease or Freiburg infraction and it's usually treated conservatively uh, here's the second metatarsal head we see the marrow edema right here a little bit of joint fluid this is on the T1 weighted images. We see this dark area. That's the abnormal marrow in here. Again, a case of Freiburg disease or Freiburg infraction.